What's up guys, we are back in Need for Speed Payback today. Uh, this is my S2000, it's my main race car right now. Um, this is a race class car. Um, when I say race car, I mean race class in the game. I don't just mean it's a race car. Um, some of you guys might think the body kit's a little ricey. I think it's kind of cool and it's a little bit better than stock, so I'm using it for now. Uh, what I'm going to do today, though, is I'm not going to show you quite as much of the car, but I'm going to be showing you guys and kind of explaining the derelict cars. Um, I've gotten the Mustang so far, and basically there's a few different ones. Uh, it shows you outlines. You can kind of see what they are. I'm not going to spoil it too much. This is the one that I have right now. I don't have any of the clues for the other ones. Oh, I guess I do. Ha! I didn't realize that. Anyway... It only notified me of this one, but I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to kind of explain it and show it to you guys. Uh, it, you know, caution, it'll be a little bit of a spoiler where the stuff is, so if you want to be able to find it on your own without knowing where it is, then don't watch this video. <laughs> That's one of few videos that I'll say, don't watch it, but yeah, if you don't want a spoiler, this is going to spoil some things. So basically it gives you this clue it gives you a little postcard of what the area looks like and it circles an area on the map and that's a, a very small section of the map let me put it that way and makes it a little bit difficult uh, if you don't really know what you're doing it's kind of weird at first to get used to okay so basically what I do is I take my phone and I take a picture of the little map section hint that it gives. And this lets me look at the hint and look at the map at the same time, which does help. So, let's see, I'm going to kind of clear up the icons on the map a little bit. It makes it a little bit easier to see the roads, because you do have to compare the roads uh, with that clue. Otherwise, you know, you're probably never going to find it unless you just get extremely lucky. So, in the clue uh, that you can see right here, uh, you can't really see a highway or anything. And it, it helps if you can see a section of the highway or even the river at the top right. Um, that makes it pretty easy when you can see the river running through the clue because then it kind of narrows it down to this little area up here. But the, the postcard picture can help kind of narrow it down to the area of the map. I don't know the map quite well enough to narrow it down too much based on that but the clue is going to help a lot uh, like I said there's no section of highway uh, if there were the bold highway in there it'd be a little bit easier but I think that little that section right there in the middle with the kind of X through it I think that's going to I think that's going to help us quite a bit so you just have to look at that and find the spot on the map okay guys so the map clue on this one it hides a little bit of stuff it doesn't show it all but I figured it out and it's the airport which is really convenient because I'm actually at the airport right now um, you can see the little the little X right there and that little kind of square section to the top left of the X um, that matches up with the airport right here so since the circle is like on the other side of this road right here, it's somewhere, somewhere right around here. And that's not perfectly exact. Maybe, you know, maybe this way a little bit more, but we're going to head over there and see if we can find it. Okay, so I'm in the very general area, 
of where this derelict car is. Um, and this is going to be just the body. Once you find the body, um, it makes you find four different parts to actually put it all together and be able to use it. Um, once you get all that, you can pick which style build you want to do. Um, I have my waypoint set. I think I'm, I think I'm going to again remove that because it's not quite perfect. Maybe put it right about here just to kind of save my spot. Okay, guys, we picked up the truck. I'm back in the general vicinity of the body of this derelict car. Going to see if it'll let me go up here anymore, which it's not right there. I think that's where I tried the first time. Yeah, so I can't get up there anymore. So there must, there's got to be a way. I mean, unless I'm just in the complete wrong area. Okay, guys, we found it. It's a little bit off course, which is kind of weird. Um, as you can see, the clue... Whoops, let's see, let's remove that. Not sure what it did there. Okay, so it looks like it's about there but then when you actually go to the map and find it it's a little bit off course but we have found it um it, when you go that building that i was at that was around here you just go down a little bit more and there's a dirt road you go down and this is the beeper that i was talking about when you get closer it gets faster and faster and then you pick up the chassis old fair lady this is going to be a really cool build when it's all done man that looks sweet so now that we found the body we can move on and find the parts and i'm probably not going to show all of them well i might i'm just going to make it quick because just driving around looking for stuff is kind of boring sometimes so what i do is i just kind of you know, take it one at a time, go around the map and find all the parts. Um, that looks, no, I don't think that's the river. That's the highway though. Um, that could be, Let's see, it's a really messed up section of highway like this right here. So, that 180 in the road right about here is about where it is now let me find a point that's kind of close by to fast travel to right there and then we can get looking for this part all right so as i'm driving on this road right here near my waypoint i'm actually already within you know a very close area of this part now there's a guardrail on that side and a rock wall on the other side so I'm not exactly sure where to go right now um, like I said before there will be a little dirt road or something that it'll be down and you just gotta find the dirt road um, all the parts are on higher ground so you can expect to find a road that climbs up like this and a lot of times there is a jump that you have to take so this is looking very likely now let me just back up a little bit that way i know i can get enough speed going to make this jump and there's the part right here easy as that um this one was very simple some of them have been kind of tricky to find not even gonna lie um this one looks pretty easy uh, it's at an intersection of a highway, and there are only a few of those. Actually, as a matter of fact, there's only like two of them. So right here would be one of them. Now, looking at it right there, it's on the bottom right section of that split around here. I bet it's in there. I'd be willing to bet it's in that road somewhere because that's right about where the little circle is. And the circle is not always entirely exact like we saw down here by the airport. So I'm going to look in there.
Okay, guys, we're getting very close to my waypoint. It's right here. Um, I'd be willing to bet that that part is somewhere over here. I'm just gonna grab this chip real quick. May as well before I lose it and forget about it. Always good to grab those as you come across them. So, I'm willing to bet that that part is around here somewhere because... Yes. Yes, yes. Right there. Right there. That was another pretty easy one to find. But now we're going to have to figure out how to get to it. Because sometimes you can see it, but not actually get to it. So it looks like there's a jump right there. And it looks like that jump is probably going to take you across to the park. Yep. If there's a jump nearby, you should probably take the jump. Because so far, there's been a jump at most, if not all, of the parts. So, there's part number two. Let's see, part number three. Let's see, which one looks pretty easy? This one looks pretty easy because there's a river through it. So, that really narrows it down. So, river, highway, kind of on the bottom of that little area. So, let's go back to here and look so there's the river um hmm let's see this is that kind of big section right there let's see oh okay i can pin that to the map that's nice that's a nice feature i guess that's this so it's somewhere right here so let me find something to fast travel to, something, well, there's really nothing nearby, unfortunately. I think, I don't own that garage, so I can't fast travel to it, and I don't want to buy it right now. So it's looking like this is going to be my only option. Okay guys, I'm very, very close to this third part. Um, Let's see, there's a little path right here. Like I said, if there's a jump, take the jump. Because the part's probably going to be right after that. Alright, so that's part number three. Um, there's a couple other little items I want to get. I think there was a chip over here that I wanted to collect. And there's a billboard over there I want to collect. I keep getting sidetracked with this stuff. Part four. So, let's see, there's a highway with kind of a right-hand curve there. So it's probably going to be on this side of the map, unless it's... I don't think... Oh, maybe it is this right here. There we go. So I will head on over to that waypoint. All right, guys, I am just about to my waypoint and hopefully to the last part of this Datsun derelict car. So... Wow, I placed that pretty well because you don't start getting the beacon until you get really close. So, whoops, it just went away. So, this way? It seems. Is it getting... Nope, I lost it. Oh, I see it. I see it, and I see the ramp I gotta take to get to it. So I'm just going to go up a little bit and get some speed going. You don't need too much speed for these kinds of ramps. The ramps to get to billboards and the ramps to get to the chips, they take a pretty good bit of speed. The ramps to get to these parts, not so much. Alright, that's the last part. So go to Garage to restore your derelict. Derelict slot. The race build? Ah. Definitely not a, definitely not a runner or an off-road. I could do race. I could do drift. I don't think I want to make it a drag build. The one that it showed in the little cutscene was pretty cool, but I don't think I want to do that with this. Let's, let's do a drift build. I'm going to be buying some race cars anyway, so let's, let's make it a drift build. Um, yeah, let's use it. Let's use it and customize it some.
So it is pretty immediate. Um, you can't paint them. But I found a hack. And some of you guys probably already know that you could do this. But if you want to paint the whole car, you have to replace any rusty parts. If you apply decals, you can add just a regular square decal, make the decal whatever color you want. So let's say I want to make this one blue. So do this and then wrong way. Stretch it over the whole thing. And that is how you can paint a derelict car. Just use that same color, of course. Stretch it out. And I always usually just hold it down for a while just to make sure everything is colored. Hmm, how do I feel about the blue? I kind of like the blue. I don't, I don't really think I see a whole lot of these in a blue like this. So let's do that. Whoops. Let's go to this side, do the same thing. I wonder if I can copy that decal over. Whoops. Let's see. There we go. Right bumper. Copy to the other side. Um, one thing that I do that does kind of bug me is the fact that when you lower the cars, it cambers the crap out of the wheels. And there's a separate setting for camber, so I don't think that this should be cambering the wheels. But, whatever. I mean, real life, if you lower a car, it's going to camber it until you get an alignment. I just wish there was a button that I could say, hey, align this car so my wheels don't look retarded. But, whatever. Uh, visual customization. Probably going to be some pretty cool options for this car. Oh, there we go. Now it changed. Oh, I bet there's an entire Liberty Walk kit. Well, that doesn't look any different. Lame. Lame. Okay. I have most of the customization unlocked, so I can change most of the stuff. Ah. Drift for eight seconds straight. That is going to be a really tough one to do, I think. Um, the Liberty Walk splitter does not look that bad. I just want something a little more crazy and over the top, because it's need for speed. Why not do something completely over the top? Carbon fiber, oh yes. Love carbon fiber. The vents all go together wing mirrors who wants to do that why do people do that it's an old 240z the the i guess quote unquote jdm mirrors i don't know if that's the proper term for those but the fender mirrors are so cool and it's it's part of what makes this car unique why change that that's just my take on it i don't know oh there's the whole liberty wall kit Man, that rear end does not look good. Let's see. Oh, that is bad. That's so bad. Let's see, that's a little bit wider. I like that. I'm not sure what the difference between these are. I guess these are a little bit darker. I am always a fan of smoked lights. Man, that looks so bad. Don't like that at all. I really don't like any of these rear bumpers. They don't look that good. Like, that does not look good. That absolutely does not look good, at least not to me anyway. That looks kind of weird. 
Although it's probably the one I'll end up doing just to get rid of that rusty bumper. Oh, there we go. There's the stock non-rusty bumper. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that because I don't like any other ones. Um, and it's looking like I've done about everything that I have unlocked. Oh, headlights. Oh, the LEDs. Those are sweet. So yeah, that's the car. And that's the customization of this derelict car. So this car, I think it's definitely gone from rags to riches in a sense. Went from complete crap to this. So I'll probably go ahead and drive it next time. But until then, leave a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think. You guys know the drill. Hit that subscribe button down below for more Need for Speed Payback coming soon. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.